Shalom, shalom, Real Motivation. Terrence McKinney back with a brand new video. Off top, I want to give all praises to the Most High. Today's video is called A Blessing in Disguise. And I know a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this because I know some people right now that's got their back up against the wall who are going through something real tough, who don't know how they're going to make it through the day, let alone deal with tomorrow. I know it's a lot of people who feel like, you know, what they're going through right now is unbearable. But a lot of times we go through things just so we can get our blessings. And, and we can't, we don't understand why we're going through something at the point in time. But once we make it through that and make it out of that, then we can see our blessing. And it happens every day in life, man. I done been through so much and throughout my life and couldn't see the good into it until I done got through it and look back a couple years later, a couple months later, you know, and realize like I had to go through that to get where I'm at. And a lot of times that just happened to all of us and we can't see it. So whoever watching this video, I want you to, whatever you're going through right now, I want you to fight through it and just keep fighting. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? Keep thinking positive. Stay in the right mind frame because at the end of the day, what don't kill us only make us stronger. And God ain't going to put nothing on our table that we can't handle. I know one of the biggest blessings that was a blessing in disguise to me is probably changed my whole life is me going to prison. You know, I went to prison 20, you know, turned 21 in prison, you know, uh, became legally a grown man at age of 21, I was in prison. And why I say that was the biggest blessing, probably was the biggest blessing in disguise in my life because it got me back on track. One, you know, I'm alive today. If if I would have been on them streets and if I would have stayed on the streets continuing at the path I was, I was going on, I don't think I'd be here today because I was living recklessly. I was living lawless. I was living without God in my life. I was just living crazy and insane and some of the stuff I was doing, you know, back then I look back and, and, I, and I'm ashamed for that. And I know me going to prison is the reason that I'm still alive because if I would have never went to prison and I was just being able to do what I was doing to stay in that environment, I would have self-destructed sooner or later. Either I would have been sitting in prison for a long, long, long time or I'd be sitting in the grave somewhere right now. And that's real stuff it don't get no realer than that like so when i look back on it i say prison saved my life but another reason why pr prison was one of the best blessings in disguise in my life because it refocused my life it let me know that my children is the most important thing that i got out there you know being away from my kids you know i was i mean my son was probably about a year you know, my oldest son was a year, and then my second son was actually born while I was in prison. So I went in at the doctor. I didn't get to hold him when he came out. I, I literally seen him through a glass, you know, the first couple of days that he was born. And then I actually got shipped out of state. And so that was, that was hard for me. That was, that was crushing, you know, to be taken away from my kids at such a young age. And my whole mentality was, you know, I'm hustling. You know, at least I told myself that I was hustling because I wanted money so I can take care of my family. But when I'm really thinking about it, I really wasn't doing that for my family. I was doing that for myself. I was being selfish. And and that recentered me. Like, you know, I was being selfish at the time. Because if I was doing that for my family, I, I mean, you can't say you're doing that from your family. Because at the end of the day, you know, somehow that's going to take you away from your family. Either you're going to die or you're going to go to jail. So I wasn't doing it for my family when I think about it. Like, but just being away from my kids, realized how important my kids was. Just missing out on important dates and being, you know, not able to hold my sons, you know, when they was at that tender age, that, that realized, that made me realize that when I get out, I got to do something different. I don't ever want to get taken away from my kids again because I'm a man. My father raised me and even if my father did raise me, I always wanted to be a better father than I had. And no, that's no disrespect to uh, my father, you know, but I just I always wanted to be a better dad like than what I had. I always wanted to raise my sons the right way and help them become something. So that was another 
blessing in disguise because when I came home from prison, my whole mind frame had changed and then I knew that I would never put myself in a position again to be taken away from them no matter what. Another reason why prison was a, a blessing in disguise, it was a humbling experience, like just totally all around because before I went to prison, I was arrogant, I was boastful, I, I was always just talking crap to anybody. I was flaunting money around. You know, I was I was just a person that I look in the mirror today and I can honestly say I ain't that person. I'm so far removed from that person that I can't even see how I got like that because I did let the money go to my head. And when that money went to my head, I treated other people like they were shit. And that's just honestly speaking. I, I didn't care about what other people was doing. I didn't care about what other people were saying. I didn't care about nobody else's opinion. I remember a lot of time, a lot of older guys used to, you know, give me good advice to, to stray me away from the path I was going, but I didn't listen because at the same time, I mean, if I'm making more money than you at that time, you couldn't tell me nothing. And that's just all to it. Like, I don't care who you was. If you didn't have that bag like I had, it, had that bag, then I wouldn't even come close to listening to what you said and I was just an evil person I was a, a womanizer uh, I I was just a bad guy and, and going to prison humbled me because when you get in prison I don't care how much you got everybody treated the same way and when you're in prison you can go to prison with a million dollars on your books and guess what you can only spend twenty dollars a day I mean not twenty dollars a day but twenty a week that was then you know, so it don't matter about your money in prison. And then when I came home and I had spent all that money and lost all that money, I seen how people treated me without me having that money. And it was a humbling experience. I mean, people didn't want to be around me. The same people that used to be around me every single day, probably because of the simple fact I had money or I had some other beneficial reason for them to be around me. I didn't see them same people. I mean, then none of them people write me letters, you know, half of them people have blocks on their phone when I try to come home, I mean, well, when I try to call home from prison, uh, even when I try to reach out to these people, like these people, you know, didn't reciprocate the same love that they did when I had money, and that was a, a humbling experience, and, and I needed that, to be honest with you, because I needed to be brought back down to earth and understand that, that money ain't nothing but currency, it's just something that... that should be able to help you make your life better, but it should control your actions and your mood. And it was a humbling experience when I came home and didn't have all that money that I, I had prior to prison. And so that was a blessing in disguise because that helped me change my outlook on life and not really care so much on a day-to-day -day basis about whatever I got to do to get this money. And, and a lot of us don't understand that. Like at the end of the day, man, you can die tomorrow, man. And chasing some money, chasing some green, which really don't mean nothing. Another reason why uh, prison was a blessing in disguise because it helped me reconnect with God. You know, I had lost my way. You know, um, I, I, I was bad, you know, and it was some things that happened to me in my childhood uh, growing up that made me veer away from church and I ain't saying church was the answer but I lost my way I lost my connection with God and when I got to prison the first day I got to prison like you know uh the first day I got in the county that you know after I got sentenced and somebody gave me a bible like and, and when I think back back now to this day that's just deep like the first day like the first cellmate I met and I can't even tell you his name or nothing because it's been so long ago and it, it, I just know it was an older white guy and he asked me did I read the Bible and I said I haven't read it in like 10 years and he was like here I want you to have this and I had that Bible throughout the whole time and that helped me reconnect with God you know and I ain't gonna lie when I got out of prison I still kind of slid back a, a lot of ways like from God but I needed that time in prison to reconnect with God because even though I did slide back and I did fall off a little bit, it was still that connection from there. I still knew God more than I knew and he still was patient with me so I could establish this relationship that I got with him now. It still was like laying, laying the foundation. Me just reading that Bible back and forth like all while I was prison was just 
like laying the foundation. You know what I'm saying? So when I, even though I slid back, when I did get out of prison for some years and was doing stuff that I knew I shouldn't been doing, I always knew then. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that foundation was there. So it was certain lines that I wouldn't cross and certain things that I wouldn't do just because I got that connection with God. And, and you know, God, you know, revealed different things at different times and you never know his plan. And, you know, my relationship with him now is, is continually growing and, and I'm, you know, deep into my relationship with God. But that prison bid, that was a blessing in disguise because that let me reestablish my connection with God. Uh, another way that uh, prison was a, a blessing to me because it just, you know, it, it gained my motivation again. When I got out, you know, I was motivated again. I was motivated to do things the right way. Before then, I wasn't motivated to do things the right way. I remember telling myself that I never ever have a job in life when I was hustling. Like I never worked for this person. I never worked for that person. But being in prison and getting out of prison and, and having to start from ground zero, it just let me know that like, nah, you know what I'm saying? To do things the right way, sometimes you is going to work for people. Sometimes you is going to do things you said you wasn't going to do. It helped me get my motivation back. After ever since then, I've been self-motivated. Like, I ain't no, I never need an alarm clock to wake up. Uh, I never need nobody to tell me I need to take care of this or I need to take care of that. It, it just was a humbling experience, like I said, like a, a couple of points ago. But now that motivation is just like stuck in me. And so those are my reasons why, you know, Sometimes, you know, you can't see the light, you know, when you're going through it. But sometimes you got to fight through it because everything we go through is for a reason. And I don't care how hard, how hard things is right now. You know, once you make it through it, you're going you gonna to see your blessing because God ain't going to put too, nothing on us, like I said, that we can't handle. And everything we go through is to bring something else out of us. It's for us to spark a change in our life. It's for us to start doing something different. So just because shit getting hard like you can't give up and you gotta keep fighting and you gotta you know come through it and then you know you you gonna see this video now then a couple of months from now you might be looking through and see like what your blessing in disguise was like everything ain't handed to us on a silver platter and sometimes you know we gotta fight for what we want and sometimes we gotta go through some hard times to get to the good times so real motivation uh please like share uh, comment, uh, thank you, shalom, have a great day.